open the box and remove DJI Mini 3 Pro and its accessories. Downloading the app. You can scan the QR code on the official DJI website or on the package to download and install the DJI Fly app. Remove the control sticks from the storage slots at the bottom of the controller and attach the control sticks. Extend the mobile device clamp and you will find the RC cable. The cable on the right with an RC icon should connect with the remote controller. The other end on the left should be used to connect your smartphone. Take out the connector from the left and unwind it to the right. Place your smartphone inside the clamp with the charging port on the right side. Tighten the clamp, making sure everything is secure, and then connect the RC cable to your smartphone. The RC cable that comes in the box is a lightning cable. There are more connector options in the accessory kit. Introducing DJI RC. Press the remote controller power button once, and then again and hold for about two seconds to turn the remote controller on or off. Select a language. Tap Next to continue and select the time zone, date, and time. After successfully logging in, an activation prompt will appear on the screen. Tap to activate. Successful activation will result in a notice on the screen. It is advisable to insert an SD card when using DJI RC. Preparing the aircraft. Remove the gimbal cover and unfold the drone's arms. When using the battery for the first time, connect the USB-C port at the rear of the aircraft directly to the battery charger until the battery indicators are on, which means the battery has been successfully activated. If the battery level is at approximately 50% or below, we suggest charging it up to 75% or above first. Activating and updating. Turn on the aircraft and remote controller and launch DJI Fly. A prompt will appear in the top left of the screen if a firmware update is available. Tap it to enter the update screen. Tap Start Update to update the aircraft and remote controller to the latest firmware version at the same time. Preparing for flight. Before takeoff, remove the gimbal cover, check if the SD card has been inserted, and that the propellers and batteries are securely installed. Then place DJI Mini 3 Pro on level ground, ensuring that the aircraft is facing outward with the rear facing you. Before takeoff, set the remote controller in the normal gear. Tap Safety and set Obstacle Avoidance Action to Bypass or Brake. And set the RTH height higher than the tallest building or nearby object. Flying Basics Before flying, choose an open, obstacle-free area. Tap the takeoff icon on the left and press and hold the prompt icon to enable auto takeoff. After takeoff, the icon will change to auto landing. Tap the auto landing icon in the left and hold to make the aircraft land automatically. To take off manually, using mode two as an example, pull both sticks all the way to the bottom of the controller and then push inwards or outwards. When the propellers start to rotate, gently push the left control stick up to manually take off. The left control stick is for adjusting the aircraft's altitude and orientation. The right control stick allows the aircraft to move forward, backward, and to the left and right. After you start the motors, if the aircraft has not taken off, push down the left stick to stop the motors. If the aircraft has taken off, push down the left stick to land. Press the flight pause and RTH button on the remote controller to make the aircraft break and hover. You can view the flight distance and speed in the bottom left corner of the app. Keep the RC antennas facing the drone during flight for optimal transmission. When the GPS signal is weak, the compass encounters interference or ambient light is not adequate for visual positioning. The aircraft will enter attitude mode and cannot hover or auto brake. To avoid accidents, please land in a safe location as soon as possible. Taking photos and videos. Locate the button on the top right corner of the remote controller. Press halfway to activate autofocus and press all the way down once to take a photo. The record button is located in the top left corner of the remote controller.
press to start recording and press again to stop. You can also adjust the gimbal pitch and control the camera by using the gimbal dial on the left side. You can use the dial on the right side to adjust camera zoom. Tap the portrait button on the app interface to enter portrait mode. Enter the camera parameter settings in the bottom right of the DJI Fly app to adjust other camera parameters. Tap the playback icon on the bottom right to view and download your footage shot. Smart RTH Tap the RTH icon on the left side of the screen and hold, or press the RTH button on the remote controller and hold to initiate RTH. When the aircraft determines that the current battery level is only sufficient for performing RTH, a prompt will appear on the DJI Fly app confirming whether to initiate RTH. When the current battery level is only sufficient for landing, the aircraft will initiate force landing. The pilot can slow down the landing speed by pushing the throttle stick upward and move the aircraft horizontally. When the aircraft is disconnected from the remote controller, the aircraft will perform Smart RTH by default. Storage Fold the aircraft arms and attach the gimbal cover. Stow the propeller of the front arm at the center of the aircraft's bottom. Avoid applying excessive force on the propeller during storage. Before takeoff, check if the flight environment meets all requirements and set the RTH altitude. Don't forget to check if the propellers and battery have all been installed securely. Please note that the obstacle sensing system does not work in low-light environments or during night flight. Always fly safely. The remote controller is already linked to the aircraft when purchased together as a combo. Otherwise, follow the steps below to link the remote controller and the aircraft after activation. Tap Linking Guide in the bottom right of the DJI Fly app and follow the instructions to link the aircraft and controller. The remote controller is ready for linking when it beeps, and its battery level indicator shows a moving icon. Press and hold the aircraft battery switch for about 4 seconds, and release it after hearing an indicator tone. The power indicator light will show a moving icon, which means the linking process has begun. The linking is successful after the remote controller tone stops. The remote controller battery level indicator and the aircraft power indicator stop showing moving icon, returning to their power display mode, and the app displays the image transmission screen. Download to mobile device. Method 1. Power on the aircraft. Turn on the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your mobile device and enable the location feature on your Android phone. Launch the DJI Fly app and an aircraft connecting prompt will automatically pop up. Tap Connect to access and download from the aircraft album. Method 2. When the aircraft is connected to the mobile device via the remote controller and the aircraft is not in flight, turn on the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth of the mobile device and enable the location feature on your Android phone. Connect the mobile device and the aircraft via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and enter the playback album. Tap the Download to Mobile Device icon in the upper right to access and download from the aircraft album. Attaching the propellers DJI Mini 3 Pro has two different types of motors, A, B, and propellers, A, B, that pair up. Any propeller that is deformed, corroded, or with loose screws should be replaced. When changing a propeller, use the Phillips screwdriver and the screws provided in the box. Thank you for watching DJI Mini 3 Pro Tutorial. Enjoy your flight!